bit of a spot. I see we've changed the mood lighting in here. Yeah, I took the floodlight that I found at the hardware store. I, um, I think one of them's set up outside now. I mean, there's a red light in inside, like, the main area. Yeah, there's a red light and a green light, because I started using the colored light bulbs. Oh, oil filter. Now I just searched the chat for cabbage, and I can see when those, uh, those nicks were supposed to be. <laughs> Find us sir, real quick. Cross stick, spare engine parts. That's a pretty cool find. Yeah, so I'm actually actively looting the storage lot right now. Fertilizer, paper clips, sheets. Um. It's a really good setup for a location. If it had a gate on the front, it would be perfect to drive in and out. Um, because the whole place is, is fenced in uh, with a wall already, and there's only one entrance. Oh, wow, this has got a generator in it as well. Let's move in ready. Well, I already brought a generator with me. I brought one of the ones from home. I didn't bring a stove. I didn't bring a stove, though. I brought a microwave. Oh, SB-98 sniper rifle. Let me get a gun locker in here. I feel like a sniper rifle is wasted on an isometric game. Not in this game, not with the mods. Brinos allows you to zoom out farther with the Evo scope. Hmm. Uh, you can zo zoom out really, uh, really far. Two gun cleaning kits, dude. Oh, not in great shape. I might as well use one of these then. There we go. Yeah, it, gun cleaning kit immediately broke upon one use. So I feel fairly safe here. I vetted it. I scouted all around the border of it. Um, this diner stuff? I realized I didn't have my sledge when I went to go break some stuff inside of a... I have a storage thing, and I was like, I think it's in the back of the fossil oil van. We have two sledges now. Hello, ammo. Decent stuff in here. Two generators here, actually. Okay. Yeah, four set will play Helldivers on Wednesday, so... Yeah, my character's completely exhausted. I should probably stop doing shit. Cool about this place is a big chain link fence is a front, so you can literally walk up to the corner of it and like and see outside the whole perimeter where you would be driving in and out at. I have to sit down and rest though.
I also looted um, the cargo container in the middle of the road and uh, the hardware store in Chestown, which is where I found a second sledgehammer. But yeah, the fossil oil van one is the one I need. Another one, the Gerber Ding Dong breaching tool is on my tool table. I mean, I could drive it down there and just be very slow. I put lamps in here. There's already a light in here. Yeah, I brought some lamps with me. I found lamps at the um, one of the stores out here. Got a few in some of my toolboxes. Almost done, I got five more of these to bust through until daybreak. There's three generators here, it's hilarious. Oh, fuck yeah, I found another jack. That's like the third one we got. Also, I found a, um, I found a new weapon. Um, What's that? Garden Brush Cutter. It counts as long blade. Storage let us open. Are these actually these port potties actually anything? Am I going these? What did I just pick up? Oh, I picked up plastic bags. Some of this stuff's gonna stay here. Emergency cockroach in case I get hungry. I brought a trailer down here too. I brought the uh, I brought the U-Haul trailer. We have spoiled milk somewhere. Funny is I can actually. I could just pick up the. Sp I'm an idiot. Why would I think about destroying shit? I could just pick this shit up.
see what else could I use out here in this place. Things don't seem too zombie riddled yet. Yeah, it was pretty close to the base. I mean, I didn't. I just left like. Um, I just left on the. Uh, the. Yeah, the fifth. I left on the fifth. I need to. The generator needed to be powered by the eighth, so I had a note. Um, left on my. I had a note left on my whiteboard when the generator would run out of power in the main base. I brought some bourbon and alcohol and pop, water, canned corn beef, some bowls and chicken pots. I didn't bring an oven though, so. I don't know the status of this other car here. Not that it matters. I can't get it out of here anyways. Oh, I could saw these walls down. They're just wood walls. I'm actually fine. Stupid fucking car, dude. Hmm. Music I haven't heard before. Car's not actually bad. Oh, <laughs> Shit. never mind. Oh, is this one of the only interior beds though? No, can't access the back. It's got a good trunk. Is this a heavy duty, heavy duty 440 horse. I mean, it needs brakes and suspension, and windows and a hood. But that's a good engine. That's a good fucking engine. It's just the insides are shot. Um, I did build this wall. I don't really need to take it down right now. Got a generator out there, but... It's really just to keep the lights running. So, I got this set up. Um... Yeah, I should just saw this wall down. I wonder, do you know how wide a car is going to be? Uh, it's uh, gate six, I think. Oh, gate is six? Yeah, gate is six tiles wide. Yeah, because I really should not have built this. Uh, just brain dead fucking uh, building. 
Well, that's why you hired a carpenter. I also need some more stuff out here. I needed to bring uh, some hinges, doorknobs, and uh, an oven. Well, again, the hinges and doorknobs, you just break down doors. You'll get both. Well, they're, the doors out here are metal, and I was isolated, so I didn't want to... Ah. So should be able to fit through now, I think. Yeah, for some reason, vehicles are only uh, too wide in Zomboid. Unless you're in a fat vehicle like mine that just got fucking stuck like a fat person trying to fit through a doorway. I literally do, it's like too wide for the door. Reminds me of that video of the, the girl who was like 350, 400 pounds trying to get inside a car seat. Like she's trying to get in her car, she just couldn't fit. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Come here and laugh at this shit when you get here. Okay, I need to figure out what my inventory is like. What is in here? Why is this suddenly so heavy? There should not be a saw in here. Oh, did you want me to drive the fossil oil van down? Or? What's up? Did you want me to drive the fossil oil van down? No. I got out. but I probably shouldn't worry about it. I can just eat when I get back. It's not like I'm going to be fighting on the way there. Until I am. Why am I seeing scientists everywhere? Doctors. Yeah, so you don't want to take the main road through the city. You want to take the, um... You want to go to the Gigamart, and then you want to cut through the Gigamart parking lot to cut through the hospital parking lot to get to that other location. In other words, to go down the main center drag, there's too many burnt cars. The other thing is, I don't really need to be um, looting this city yet, just due to the amount of food we have, but I'm just trying to work on it because it's a stop along the way. It's a pretty quiet place, honestly, on the edge of town, so it allows the option to go into that city and gather. Because, I mean, there's literally, well, that's the other thing. Yeah, I don't need to go to the other city, but there's literally nothing to do in Chestown anymore. 
I need to start establishing some sort of presence over there. And use some of, split some of our resources off into Pineville so that we can have a foothold there. Damn. I think what I might want to do with you, though, on a serious note, um, I think I want to loot that, um, gun store, but holy shit, dude. God damn. There's so, there's so many zombies out here. I'm trying to think of that. Sledgehammer needs to be over there in that town, so that there's a sledgehammer in that town. I thought you said you found a second. I did, but I want to bring one to Pineville and leave one at the base in case something happens. Right. You know, somebody dies in a dangerous spot, there's just a sledgehammer in some garbage building location randomly, and no one knows how to get there. I'll stay up a backup. When I get home, I'll eat some home-cooked meals. Working on that. That's really the one thing that's going to... Uh, change the scope of like how we move is um, once we go through you know this this winter we'll go through all of the perishables that are not hand grown and going through that needs to be the first that's like the the first priority was just doing that and looting chest down but we had so much time because the power was on for the whole month And it's a death clock, but it's a very slow death clock, honestly. Because, I mean, we could, in theory, we could just not worry about anything and just stay in chest out. We could right. grow on the roof. We could have water and grow on the roof and be fine. That's the Zomboid in-game dilemma, is like... Adventure is what you make it, and if you decide to do it the safest way, the safest way is honestly the, the apocalypse is depressing. I almost flipped the trailer over too, that was pretty cool. You were over your traps, weren't you? I was. There were a few things over there. We're also not feeding as many people because everybody dropped off the zomboid. I think it's a timing issue. Like, Monday night's kind of a weird night. There's a little bit of burnout. We're playing it like three hours every night for like two weeks straight. Yeah, but you know Lynx is always up for it. I'm home. I didn't bring back any loot. Money. I didn't bring back any loot. Oh. You ate all the food. Yeah, we're gonna do right now. I wasn't actually frozen yet. If 
Got a potato. It's a wild potato. He's, he's just this very spicy, rambunctious potato. Oh, let's see them. everyone knows that that's how you cook you take whatever seasons you got you throw all of it in the pot 20 and minutes of snacks I still have so much canned food be hoarding empty cans for some reason. Yeah, kind of a thing I do every playthrough. There's always a can table. I see. Well, the metallurgy comes along, maybe we'll be able to melt it down. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Make your own aluminum ingots. Make ad hoc aluminum bat. Do you use blunt weapons? What kind of weapons do you use? Uh, I've just been using the, uh, the spike bats because they're cheap. Okay, so you're telling me you use blunt weapons. Yeah, I have I have two in long blunt. That is my highest combat skill. It's interesting. Interesting. Um, would you like something? Uh, I, found, I enjoy I've, something. I found something uh, very good that will help you in your endeavors. Um, it's very rare. <laughs> and um, Callie's going to be upset when he watches the video, but it's on the oh, floor. Oh, Jesus. It's a reinforced baseball bat. I found it in uh, the uh Um I found it in the storage crate in the middle of the road, the one that had all the gun stuff in it. Nice. So that will be infinitely better than a spiked baseball bat. And it's not repairable, so you might as well just use it. Right. Here. Have a bowl of soup. Or stew. Not soup. Stew would be ter or soup would be terrible. Stoop. Have a bowl of stew. Stoop. Have a bowl of soup. So cure any problems I have, including calories, I hope. Sure. Yeah, I could, I could use a, bo a bottle of peanut butter. No, you couldn't. No, no one needs that. No reason. Skills like how close am I to the next strength? I'm getting better. I'm really mostly limited by just the capacity of my rigs rather than than anything. Do you think you're ready for a trip out, or...? Yeah, we could probably do that in a sec. Ford. I hit a 
bunch of zombies along the way. I think I just damaged the bumper, if anything. The hood looks fine. The bumper's probably fucked. The rear bumper's broken for some reason. What happened with the trunk and the rear bumper? Man, fuck. I gotta see if I got any propane left. Not really. Unfortunate. I wonder if I could use... Can I use the I plastic? Really this concrete powder. Don't need to carry that with me. What does this rear bumper repair with? Rear bumper repair. All propane rope. Blue. Handsome looking bat. Small metal sheets and screws, I can fix this up. The rear bumper's zeroed out. Oof. That's bad. So I want to fix that before the trunk lid breaks and we can't get in the trunk. Rear bumper repair. I will need to be back here in a couple of days for the cabbage. Put these screws away. Yeah, we're not going to the other town. We're just going, um... We're going to the gun store. I'm gonna turn this around. Oh, I need to grab the sledge. You're a Sunday driver, I'm a speed demon. Hmm. Figured complementary skills and whatnot. Your Sunday driver is an easy one for points if you don't plan on driving vehicles, which works for most playthroughs. But not how I play. I figured there were enough of us that somebody else would be driving. How you have a roof rack for the part that doesn't have a roof. Worried about this trunk. I don't have any propane, so um, that's going to have to become a bigger priority for me. I know where one's at, but it's in the center of Pineville. And it might not even be one. It's just a propane grill I see on a rooftop. Like a fucking, like it's a mirage. Right. Like it's taunting me. I got some, I got some minor, a minor loot in the back of the, uh, fossil oil van. Yeah, I was looking That's, in there because mentioned it. I just never unloaded it because it wasn't really a priority. I was really tired. Really can't wait for the next build, dude. The new lighting system looks so smooth. Yeah, it does. It's like, man, it's going to be a different game. And to play it at vanilla with infections on will be really cool. Hopefully it's stable enough that it doesn't, like, crash out or anything. Well, they're taking a lot of time with it, so I'm hoping they're going to put it through its phases. They have a lot of people testing it, too, from what I hear.
believe it's right here. Yeah, it's gonna be these two buildings. I'm gonna drop this out right here. Ooh, this thing's gonna swing slow. But it seems to be a one hit kill, so. Oh. You need to Suddenly change weapons, do it soon. Not you fit? No, I'm fine. Does this make my vision worse? Hold on. No, it doesn't seem to. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's surprisingly not that much here. Viking axe. No way. Oh, two special weapons. That's funny. Hey, gunpowder. We can make our own. Oh, wait, no. Uh, is it the back room? Gun cleaning kit. It's a uh, full. Uh huh. That door is very locked. The bar door over here. Oh, I have a solution to that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, was there a key? Yeah. I always check zombie corpses. They almost always spawn the uh, 50 PMG ammo canister. I wonder if there's any ammo on there. I can't really. Damn, dude. Ammo rarity is killing us right now. This is like a major gun loot spot. It's just devoid of shit. I haven't even built my backpack, dude. That's crazy. I mean, the Viking X is a huge find. What's that? Pick that place clean fast. Yeah, not much. Make sure you're actually putting it in the truck and not on a zombie. Whether you go to the roof rack or not, I don't care. I can't actually tell which one's which. I think that's the bed. The bed has a bunch of shit. The roof rack's empty right now. Okay, cool. There's just 15 of them over there. I think the other place is like a hunting slash um, place. I think it looked like it had tents in it. We need to hurry up though, so once you get that unloaded, we need to... Yeah. L118A1 Arctic Warfare. That took forever to get out of mine. 
that again. Right, I think I'm good. Grab the sledgehammer back, actually. Keeping the axe as a backup for the moment. I'm drive the truck over there. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's a nice little pack. Rabbit hat? Robbie the worry. rabbit held it gray. It actually has better bite defense than what I'm wearing. Yeah, but it, it takes up multiple slots. It's like a costume or something. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, that's pretty terrifying. Actually, okay. I just took the, the helmet slot. That's really silly. Two kukri machetes. Boy, that's quite the find. Hey, another camping canteen if somebody wants that for their water. Uh, I probably wouldn't mind that. Line up in the truck. Fishing line. Burrito rotten. Ooh, fishing line. That's actually useful. I have a problem. Yeah, I see that. building. Walk into the back door to see who's there. It's like desync to you, like banging on the wall. We can go now. If you're ready to get in and I'm ready to go. Yep. Good score, got it in before night time. Let's see how many I can draw over there. I must have bumped into something with the tailgate down. It must do extra damage or something. I don't fucking know. It zeroed itself out completely. All I do is back up into a trailer. I mean, then again. <laughs> when you put it like that. My, my old boss, he backed up into a tree with the tailgate down. I said, oh, man, that tree really stuck up on you, didn't it? It's, it's guerrilla warfare. It just comes, comes right at you.
you think someone that professionally fights trees would notice, but... Oh, God, I was, like, looking at my other monitor, and I fat-fingered the driving keys, and then I just saw what was happening. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out why I had two Discord notifications. I was trying to figure out why, why what you, zombies you were seeing that uh, I wasn't. She's just gripping the seat tightly. <laughs> We're probably not gonna die, probably. Guy with the gun, I pass him every time. Just in time for dinner. I need to make something. Thought we'd put the door in so that you could just drive in. You do have a good point. I forgot about that. Better dinner. saying you needed rope for something earlier. Yeah, it does some minor repairs, and I think you can attach weapons with spears, but nobody's really using spears. But honestly, the farther into the game you get, spears get a little more valuable if you can't get a hold of weapons. But with a larger group and presence, I'm not as worried about... Um... Let's see, 22... Is this... Special, If you want to take this camping canteen, I'm going to sit on the floor. It's heavier, but it'll store more water. All right. I know where you keep... rocking two bourbon bottles for that purpose. water I go through.
20 boxes of 762 by 39. We even have 762 by 39 rifles. Fill that whole box up. I don't even think we have a. I don't think we have a seven six two by three nine gun. We have there's like AKS seventy four U's and AKs, but they're pretty rare. Clothing, clothing, clothing. Arctic warfare sniper is crazy. Fucking. A 20 rounder version of that as well. 308 uh, NATO mag, which is 20 rounds of 308. That's a rifle. That's emptied out. Still doesn't solve my problem of this fucking trunk. Let me see if there's anything I can do with this. Oh, the gas tank's getting fucked up from hitting shit, too. Mm -hmm. So the bumper's doing fine, but all the zombies that are run over are hitting the fucking gas tank. So, truck lid's almost broken. You know what? What am I doing here? I fucking got another F-350 out in the parking lot. I'll be back. Pull that in. That's what I brought it for. It's for parts. That was for parts or to fix? And, well, I can't fix it right now, so it's for parts. Do some swaps. I need trunk lid, and I need, like, some seats. Pretty sure it runs and drives, too. Trunk lid. 
Front lid on this one is shot. It's got some seats. It's got a gas tank. Time for a gas tank swap. Got a bogus view for you when you want it. Like calorie deficient and hungry, it's perfect. What kind of ingredients we're getting rid of. Almost excited to get rid of all this old fresh stuff. Fifteen meat left. That's what the stuff you found. And nineteen vegetables, seven of which are potatoes, so it's like twelve and fifteen left of like fresh shit. And then ten here of like cheese and eggs, so not bad, honestly. So let's see here. I don't have my jumbo gas can, so this water one will have to do. So I need to siphon gas. Does this not count as a gas can? God damn it. I can't put gas into the trailers because it's not rigged up for custom gas cans. so nice to be able to work on stuff inside, but I need to fix these light bulbs because it kind of annoys when I'm being colored now. Light bulb, light bulb. Man back. Remove light bulb. I didn't know you're gone. Oh, I thought it was going okay.
Yeah, I think is this. This is a standard heavy duty. It really replaces this with anything. Worry about that later. Interesting. This one isn't um isn't a dually. Do siphon gas from a running vehicle. <laughs> okay then. Doesn't like that. Is this one different? A gas tank swap completed. I need to steal this rear bumper and this trunk lid. rear right seat. This work without a trunk lid? Oh, you just can't close the trunk then. <laughs> it's just <laughs> It's just open permanently. Isn't that like not bad then? Because it's a pickup, so you can still get in it. It's just it has no That's kind of funny, honestly. Did the swaps there. I don't know if I can get to that seat is the problem. I don't think there's a path. Yeah, so I need to go move one of these out.
funny. You can right click add gas from fuel truck for vehicles that are inside here. Hmm. This basically got a hose running through the house. <laughs> Up how much gas we've got as well. It's been a minute. I don't usually take much from it though. So, how many days do you need to be here for? Today's the day you need to be here for cabbages, yeah? Uh, I need to be here tomorrow, in theory. Okay, I guess I'll hang out and find something to do here. This is assuming I did my dates right and nothing is, it hasn't gone dry and other problems haven't happened. I also played for a little bit, so I mean, could be sooner. I played for like a couple days. Well, no, I had it down by the dates in the game. Oh, okay. That's smart. Make bowls of rice. I want to add them to the stew. Okay, so let him use all the rice. Probably do another one out of it. Okay, so now I can work on these. I should go close that door. The front right seat was starting to die for some reason. Apparently, you've been sitting down too hard. You need to be more careful when you get in the truck. Mm. Wait, where's that other seat at? I. Oh. Oh, they're the wrong. Oh, man. They have front rear variants? Oh, man. Oh, shit. I need to install this one back because I need to steal a front seat. It's foggy today anyway. It's probably not the greatest idea to be running around Pineville. take a sports car and just kind of drive around uh, chest town and see if there's any like obvious propane I missed in the residential section.
Ooh, that's a little shed right there. Maybe that might have something in it. here. Oh boy, better get my gamer stance going here. Your gamer stance? Yeah. I assume that's just the look you get into a sumo pose. No, I just, it's actually just sat up, that's all. Oh. I don't like this at all, actually. Fight off like 30 of them, dude. Trying to play some new tactics here. I started doing like a rolling retreat with my rifle and waiting the aim to settle just a little bit so that it wouldn't be a full hip fire. Managed to get some okay shots off there. Man, 
Can't believe we didn't check that. It was a little tiny shed. Had a fucking sledgehammer in it. Hmm. Was here the whole time. Still a good find, but not what I was looking for. Too long rifle. I mean, honestly, I was looking for propane. There could have been propane in there, but instead, I found a sledgehammer, which is still pretty good. It's in really bad condition, though, which means it's still durability we can use. It can be fixed. That's that block covered. been through the back one, because that's where I found the first propane at, so... That's that residential sector. Looking, a stupid fucking telephone pole. I've hit that telephone pole so many times. You should destroy it. Can't. It's not destroyable by a sledgehammer. Sadness. As it gets, I guess. Hello, new friends. This shit too.
God, it's hard to animal be murdered. Okay, backpack successfully unloaded. Do not need the splitting axe on me. Holy shit. I carried that to do some wood stuff earlier. Finally, rid of that weight. What else do I not need on me? So far, pretty productive. Got some guns. Got another sledgehammer. Got some ammo. Eating all this food. Yeah, because once these freezers don't have anything in them, it's like, we're free to just go wherever and leave. <laughs> at that point, it's just we just start up the next farming session at a different location and move forward. Or, I mean, or drive back. I mean, either or. Very cozy town. Um, we just have to maintain the place, though, so... Um, realistically, probably need to live somewhere a little quieter and not in the middle of a city that requires a bunch of driving. Or better yet, you know, once we get through Pineville, just move forward to fucking, like I said, I want to move to Ravens Creek. I want to right. move the outskirt of that so that we don't have to go drive to a city. We just have a city that's just there forever to be forever chewed through. If people want to go on long distance excursions outside of Ravens Creek, they're welcome to. The biggest issue will be getting some of the important vehicles over there because you can only drive one car at a time. Well, I mean, you have other people. They don't exist. <laughs> they're not here. They're not here now. Having object permanent issues, the uh, object permanence issues. Will only exist when you can see them. I mean, how can they be real if my eyes aren't real? Uh huh, uh huh. Make sure I get my exercise in. So you need to be here on the 8th, is what you're saying. Uh, yes, supposedly. If I did my math right and everything else is correct. I need to go to the bathroom while I character exercises. Sure.
Characters get better at these burpees. I think I missed my exercise overnight. Wheel? Dude, sit on ground plus rest is fast. Holy shit. Might just try and practice a sprinting right now. I'm pretty close to that last level. Nice. Not last level, but level eight. Last part of the level. I get it from jogging. Before start of the game, he was just doing alt sprinting everywhere, and he was just like, "Yeah, I keep falling over." <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, I see. I see cabbages that look pretty good up there. Well, they're not, they're, they're not, they're not blooming, but they're, um, there's like two rows. Young, I think, is the stage. Blooming should be the, the harvest stage. And then I'll, I'll want to leave a couple of them fallow so that I can get seeds off of them. But that, that I think it's another like three, four days. actually do this. Oh my god, it's so dumb. You can sprint into a wall. Mm. You can sprint in a wall to lower your calories down. And gain sprinting XP. <laughs> it's like I'm on a treadmill. God, you just sprint in place to... I can actually jog for quite a while. What happens when I let go of W? Oh man. I hold them both. sprint because I can.
Where is it? I'm actually doing this. This is actually happening. This is gonna get me. This is gonna level up my sprinting. So ridiculous. You know what? We're just gonna sprint to the void. The video is just gonna end here. Just into the infinite abyss of YouTube you go. Goodbye!